Victor Mihaly Orban Hungarian, Victor Orba N. Listen, born the 31st of May 1963, is a Hungarian politician serving as Prime Minister of Hungary since 2010. He also served as Prime Minister from 1998 to 2002. He is the present leader of the National Conservative Fidesz Party, a post he has held since 2003 and, previously, from 1993 to 2000. Born in Sikhsfehervor, Orban studied law at Eotivios Lorand University, graduating in 1987. He briefly studied political science at Pembroke College, Oxford, before entering politics in the wake of the Autumn of Nations at the head of the reformist student movement Alliance of Young Democrats the nascent Fidesz. He became a nationally known politician after giving an address at the 1989 reburial of Imre Nagy and other martyrs of the 1956 revolution, in which he openly demanded that Soviet troops withdraw from the country. After the transition to democracy in 1990, he was elected to the National Assembly and served as leader of Fidesz's parliamentary caucus until 1993. Under his leadership, Orban shifted Fidesz away from its original centre-right, classical liberal, pro-European integration platform toward right-wing national conservatism. After Fidesz won a plurality of seats in the National Assembly in the 1998 elections, Orban became Prime Minister for four years at the head of a right-wing coalition government. Fidesz narrowly lost the 2002 and 2006 elections to the Socialist Party, and Orban spent eight years as the leader of the opposition. The socialists rising in popularity, exacerbated by PM Ferenc Gyurcsányi's Azad speech, led to Orban's re-election to the premiership in 2010 in a landslide victory in coalition with the Christian Democrats. At the helm of a parliamentary supermajority, Orban's cabinet spearheaded major constitutional and legislative reforms. Fidesz retained its supermajority in the 2014 and 2018 elections. Orban's social conservatism, national conservatism, soft euroscepticism and advocacy of what he describes as an illiberal state have attracted significant international attention. Some observers have described his government as authoritarian or autocratic. In August 2018, Orban became the second longest serving prime minister after Kalman Tissa. If his current government lasts a full term, upon its completion, he will become the longest serving Hungarian prime minister in history. Early life Orban was born on 31 May 1963 in Sikhsfehervor into a rural middle-class family, as the eldest son of the entrepreneur and agronomist Gyozo Orban and the special educator and speech therapist Erzabet Sipos. He has two younger brothers, both entrepreneurs, Gyozo, Jr. and Aron his paternal grandfather, Mihaly Orban, practiced farming and animal husbandry. Orban spent his childhood in two nearby villages, Alksutdobos and Felksit in Fayer County. He attended school there and in Verdaziksa. In 1977, his family moved permanently to Sikhsfehervor. Orban graduated from Blanca Teleki High School in Sikhsfehervor in 1981, where he studied English. After completing two years of military service, he studied law at Eotivios Lorand University in Budapest, writing his master's thesis on the Polish Solidarity Movement. After graduation in 1987, he lived in Zolnok for two years, commuting to his job in Budapest as a sociologist at the Management Training Institute of the Ministry of Agriculture and Food. In 1989, Orban received a scholarship from the Soros Foundation to study political science at Pembroke College, Oxford. His personal tutor was the Hegelian political philosopher Zbigniew Pelczynski. In January 1990, he left Oxford and returned to Hungary to run for a seat in Hungary's first post communist parliament. At the age of 14 and 15, he was a secretary of the Communist Youth Organization of his secondary grammar school. KISZ membership was mandatory for university admittance. Orban said in a later interview that his political views had radically changed during the military service. Earlier, he had considered himself a naive and devoted supporter of the communist regime. Topic: <laughs> Early career, 1988 to 98. On 30 March 1988, Orban was one of the founding members of Fidesz, originally an acronym for Fiatal Demokratak Zvetsizh. Alliance of Young Democrats, and served as its first spokesperson. 
The first members of the party, including Orban, were mostly students from the Bibo Istvan College for Advanced Studies who opposed the communist regime. At the college, Orban edited the social science journal Shazadvag, end of century, and was one of the key figures among the radical students. On 16 June 1989, Orban gave a speech in Heroes Square, Budapest, on the occasion of the reburial of Imre Nagy and other national martyrs of the 1956 Hungarian Revolution. In his speech he demanded free elections and the withdrawal of Soviet troops. The speech brought him wide national and political acclaim. In summer 1989 he took part in the opposition round table talks, representing Fidesz alongside Laszlo Kover. On returning home from Oxford, he was elected Member of Parliament from his party's Pest County Regional List during the 1990 parliamentary election. He was appointed leader of the Fidesz's parliamentary group, serving in this capacity until May 1993. On 18 April 1993, Orban became the first president of Fidesz, replacing the national board that had served as a collective leadership since its founding. Under his leadership, Fidesz gradually transformed from a radical liberal student organization to a center-right People's Party. The conservative turn caused a severe split in the membership. Several members left the party, including Pater Molnar, Gabor Fodor and Zhuzhana Seleny. Fodor and others later joined the Liberal Alliance of Free Democrats SZDSZ, initially a strong ally of Fidesz, but later a political opponent. During the 1994 parliamentary election, Fidesz barely reached the 5% threshold. Orban became MP from his party's Fair County Regional List. He served as chairman of the Committee on European Integration Affairs between 1994 and 1998. He was also a member of the Immunity, Incompatibility and Credentials Committee for a short time in 1995. Under his presidency, Fidesz adopted Hungarian Civic Party Magyar Polgari Part to its shortened name in 1995. His party gradually became dominant in the right wing of the political spectrum, while the former ruling conservative Hungarian Democratic Forum MDF had lost much of its support. From April 1996, Orban was chairman of the Hungarian National Committee of the New Atlantic Initiative In September 1992, Orban was elected vice chairman of the Liberal International. In November 2000, however, Fidesz left the Liberal International and joined the European People's Party. During the time, Orban worked hard to unite the centre-right liberal conservative parties in Hungary. At the EPP's Congress in Istoril in October 2002, he was elected vice president, an office he held until 2012. Topic: <laughs> First term as prime minister, 1998 to 2002. In 1998, Orban formed a successful coalition with the Hungarian Democratic Forum MDF and the Independent Smallholders, Agrarian Workers and Civic Party FKGP and won the 1998 parliamentary elections with 42% of the national vote. Orban became the second youngest Prime Minister of Hungary at 35 after Andras Hegedus, serving between 1998 and 2002. The new government immediately launched a radical reform of state administration, reorganizing ministries and creating a super ministry for the economy. In addition, the boards of the Social Security Funds and centralized Social Security payments were dismissed. Following the German model, Orban strengthened the Prime Minister's office and named a new minister to oversee the work of his cabinet. In the process thousands of civil servants were replaced no distinction is made between political and civil servant posts, resulting in a strong winner-takes-all practice. The overall direction was towards centralized control. Despite vigorous protests from the opposition parties, in February the government decided that plenary sessions of the unicameral National Assembly would be held only every third week. As a result, according to opposition arguments, Parliament's legislative efficiency and ability to supervise the government were reduced. In late March, the government tried to replace the National Assembly rule that requires a two-thirds majority vote with one of a simple majority, but the Constitutional Court ruled this unconstitutional. The year saw only minor changes in top government officials. Two of Orban's state secretaries in the Prime Minister's office had to resign in May due to their implication in a bribery scandal involving the U.S. military manufacturer Lockheed Martin Corp. 
Before bids on a major jet fighter contract, the two secretaries, along with 32 other deputies of Orban's party, had sent a letter to two U.S. senators to lobby for the appointment of a Budapest-based Lockheed manager to be the U.S. ambassador to Hungary. On 31 August, the head of the tax office also resigned, succumbing to protracted attacks by the opposition on his earlier, allegedly suspicious, business dealings. The tug of war between the Budapest City Council and the government continued over the government's decision in late 1998 to cancel two major urban projects, the construction of a new national theater and of the fourth subway line. Relations between the Fidesz-led coalition government and the opposition worsened in the National Assembly, where the two seemed to have abandoned all attempts at consensus-seeking politics. The government pushed to swiftly replace the heads of key institutions such as the Hungarian National Bank Chairman, the Budapest City Chief Prosecutor and the Hungarian Radio with partisan figures. Although the opposition resisted, for example by delaying their appointing of members of the supervising boards, the government ran the institutions without the stipulated number of directors. In a similar vein, Orban failed to show up for question time in Parliament, for periods of up to ten months. His statements of the kind that the parliament works without opposition too." Also contributed to the image of an arrogant and aggressive governance, a later report in March by the Brussels-based International Federation of Journalists criticized the Hungarian government for improper political influence in the media as the country's public service broadcaster teetered close to bankruptcy. Numerous political scandals during 2001 led to a de facto, if not actual, breakup of the coalition that held power in Budapest. A bribery scandal in February triggered a wave of allegations and several prosecutions against the Independent Smallholders Party FKGP. The affair resulted in the ousting of Joseph Torgian from both the FKGP presidency and the top post in the Ministry of Agriculture. The FKGP disintegrated and more than a dozen of its MPs joined the government faction. Topic: Economy Orban's economic policy was aimed at cutting taxes and social insurance contributions over four years while reducing inflation and unemployment. Among the new government's first measures was to abolish university tuition fees and reintroduce universal maternity benefits. The government announced its intention to continue the socialist liberal stabilization program and pledged to narrow the budget deficit, which had grown to 4.5% of GDP. The previous cabinet had almost completed the privatization of government-run industries and had launched a comprehensive pension reform. However, the socialists had avoided two major socio-economic issues. Reform of health care and agriculture, these remained to be tackled by Orban's government. Economic successes included a drop in inflation from 15% in 1998 to 10.0% in 1999, 9.8% in 2000 and 7.8% in 2001. GDP growth rates were fairly steady, 4.4% in 1999, 5.2% in 2000, and 3.8% in 2001. The fiscal deficit fell from 3.9% in 1999, to 3.5% in 2000 and 3.4% in 2001 and the ratio of the national debt decreased to 54% of GDP. Under the Orban cabinet there were realistic hopes that Hungary would be able to join the Eurozone by 2009. However, negotiations for entry into the European Union slowed in the fall of 1999 after the EU included six more countries in addition to the original six in the accession discussions. Orban repeatedly criticized the EU for its delay. Orban also came under criticism for pushing through an unprecedented two-year budget and for failing to curb inflation, which only dropped a half point, from 10% in 1999 to 9.5% in 2000, despite the tight monetary policy of the central bank. However, investments continued to grow. Topic. Foreign policy In March 1999, after Russian objections were overruled, Hungary joined NATO along with Czech Republic and Poland. The Hungarian membership to NATO demanded its involvement in Yugoslavia's Kosovo crisis and modernization of its army. NATO membership also gave a blow to the economy because of a trade embargo imposed on Yugoslavia. Hungary attracted international media attention in 1999 for passing the status law 
Concerning estimated 3 million ethnic Hungarian minorities in neighboring Romania, Slovakia, Serbia and Montenegro, Croatia, Slovenia and Ukraine. The law aimed to provide education, health benefits and employment rights to those, and was said to heal the negative effects of the disastrous 1920 Trianon Treaty. Governments in neighboring states, particularly Romania, claimed to be insulted by the law, which they saw as an interference in their domestic affairs. The proponents of the status law countered that several of the countries criticizing the law themselves have similar constructs to provide benefits for their own minorities. Romania acquiesced after amendments following a December 2001 agreement between Orban and Romanian Prime Minister Adrian Nistace. Slovakia accepted the law after further concessions made by the new government after the 2002 elections. Topic: In opposition 2002 to 10. The level of public support for political parties generally stagnated, even with general elections coming in 2002. Fidesz and the main opposition Hungarian Socialist Party ran neck and neck in the opinion polls for most of the year, both attracting about 26% of the electorate. According to a September 2001 poll by the Gallup organization, however, support for a joint Fidesz Hungarian Democratic Forum party list would run up to 33% of the voters, with the socialists drawing 28% and other opposition parties 3% each. Meanwhile, public support for the FKGP plunged from 14% in 1998 to 1% in 2001. As many as 40% of the voters remained undecided, however. Although the socialists had picked their candidate for prime minister—former finance minister Pater Medgesi—the opposition largely remained unable to increase its political support. The dark horse of the election was the radical nationalist Hungarian Justice and Life Party Meep, with its leader Istvan Shirka's radical rhetoric. Meep could not be ruled out as the key to a new term for Orban and his party, should they be forced into a coalition after the 2002 elections. The elections of 2002 were the most heated Hungary had experienced in more than a decade, and an unprecedented cultural political division formed in the country. In the event, Viktor Orban's group lost the April parliamentary elections to the opposition Hungarian Socialist Party, which set up a coalition with its longtime ally, the Liberal Alliance of Free Democrats. Turnout was a record high 73.5%. Beyond these parties, only deputies of the Hungarian Democratic Forum made it into the National Assembly. The Populist Independent Smallholders Party and the Right Hungarian Justice and Life Party Meep lost all their seats. Thus, the number of political parties in the new assembly was reduced from six to four. Meep challenged the government's legitimacy, demanded a recount, complained of election fraud, and generally kept the country in election mode until the October municipal elections. The socialist controlled Central Elections Committee ruled that a recount was unnecessary, a position supported by observers from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, whose only substantive criticism of the election conduct was that the state television carried a consistent bias in favor of Fidesz. Orban received the Freedom Award of the American Enterprise Institute and the New Atlantic Initiative, 2001, the Polak Award, 2001, the Grand Cross of the National Order of Merit, 2001, the Forder Prix Soziale Marktwirtschaft Prize for the Social Market Economy 2002 and the Merit Europund Prize 2004 In April 2004 he received the Papal Grand Cross of the Order of Saint Gregory the Great In the 2004 European Parliament election the ruling Hungarian Socialist Party MSZP was heavily defeated by the opposition Conservative Fidesz Fidesz gained 47.4% of the vote and 12 of Hungary's 24 seats. Orban was the Fidesz candidate for the parliamentary election in 2006. Fidesz and its new old candidate failed again to gain a majority in this election, which initially put Orban's future political career as the leader of Fidesz in question. However, after fighting with Socialist Liberal Coalition, Orban's position solidified again, and he was elected president of Fidesz yet again for another term in May 2007. On the 17th of September 2006, an audio recording surfaced from a closed-door Hungarian Socialist Party (MSZP) meeting, which was held on the 26th of May 2006, in which Hungarian Prime Minister Ferenc Gyurcsányi made a speech notable for its obscene language. On 1 November, Orban and his party announced their plans to stage several large-scale demonstrations across Hungary on the anniversary of the Soviet suppression of the 1956 revolution. 
The events were intended to serve as a memorial to the victims of the Soviet invasion and a protest against police brutality during the 23 October unrest in Budapest. Planned events included a candlelight vigil march across Budapest. However, the demonstrations were small and petered out by the end of the year. A new round of demonstrations expected in the spring of 2007 did not materialize. On 1 October 2006, Fidesz won the municipal elections, which counterbalanced the MSZP led government's power to some extent. Fidesz won 15 of 23 mayoralties in Hungary's largest cities although it narrowly lost Budapest to the Liberal Party and majorities in 18 of 20 regional assemblies. On 9 March 2008, a national referendum took place on revoking government reforms which introduced doctor fees per visit and medical fees paid per number of days spent in hospital as well, as tuition fees in higher education. Hungarians usually call this popular vote the social referendum. The referendum was initiated by opposition party Fidesz against the ruling MSZP. The procedure for the referendum started on 23 October 2006, when Orban announced they would hand in seven questions to the National Electorate Office, three of which on abolishing co-payments, daily fees and college tuition fees were officially approved on 17 December 2007 and called on 24 January 2008. It was assumed likely that the referendum will pass, but it was uncertain whether turnout would be high enough to make it valid. Polls indicated about 40% turnout with 80% in favor of rescinding the three reforms. In the 2009 European Parliament election, Fidesz won by a large margin, garnering 56.36% of votes and 14 of Hungary's 22 seats. Topic: <laughs> Second term as Prime Minister 2010 present. During the April 2010 parliamentary elections Orban's party won 52.73% of the popular vote, with a two-thirds majority of seats, which gave Orban enough authority to change the constitution. As a result, Orban's government added an article in support of traditional marriage in the constitution, and a controversial electoral reform which lowered the number of seats in the Parliament of Hungary from 386 to 199. In his second term as Prime Minister, he garnered controversy for his statements against liberal democracy, for proposing an internet tax, and for his perceived corruption. His second premiership has seen numerous protests against his government, including one in Budapest in November 2014 against the proposed internet tax. In terms of domestic legislation, Orban's government implemented a flat tax on personal income. This tax is set at 16%. Orban has called his government pragmatic. Citing restrictions on early retirement in the police force and military, making welfare more transparent, and a central banking law that gives Hungary more independence from the European Central Bank." After the 2014 parliamentary election, Fidesz won a majority, garnering 133 of the 199 seats in the National Assembly. While he won a large majority, he garnered 44.54% of the national vote, down from 52.73% in 2010. During the 2015 European migrant crisis, Orban ordered the erection of the Hungary-Serbia barrier to block entry of illegal immigrants so that Hungary could register all the migrants arriving from Serbia, which is the country's responsibility under the Dublin Regulation, a European Union law. Under Orban, Hungary took numerous actions to combat illegal immigration and reduce refugee levels. Orban questioned Nord Stream 2, a new Russia-Germany natural gas pipeline. He said he wants to hear a reasonable argument why South Stream was bad and Nord Stream is not. South Stream refers to the Balkan pipeline cancelled by Russia in December 2014 after obstacles from the EU. Topic. Views and public image Orban's blend of soft Euroscepticism, populism, and national conservatism has seen him compared to politicians and political parties as diverse as Jaroslaw Kaczynski's Law and Justice, Silvio Berlusconi's Forza Italia, Marine Le Pen's Front National, Donald Trump, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and Vladimir Putin. According to Politico, Orban political philosophy echoes the resentments of what were once the peasant and working classes by promoting an in compromising defense of national sovereignty and a transparent distrust of Europe's ruling establishments. Orban has a close relationship to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, having known him for decades. 
He is described as one of Mr. Netanyahu's closest allies in Europe. Orban received personal advice on economic reforms from Netanyahu, while the latter was finance minister of Israel 2003 Orban is seen as having laid out his political views most concretely in a widely cited 2014 public address at Bail Tusnad known in Hungary as the Tusnadferdoj Bezade, or Tusnadferdo speech. In the address, Orban repudiated the classical liberal theory of the state as a free association of atomistic individuals, arguing for the use of the state as the means of organizing, invigorating, or even constructing the national community. Although this kind of state respects traditionally liberal concepts like civic rights, it is properly called a liberal because it views the community, and not the individual, as the basic political unit. In practice, Orban claimed, such a state should promote national self-sufficiency, national sovereignty, familialism, full employment, and the preservation of cultural heritage, and cited countries such as Turkey, India, Singapore, Russia, and China as models. Orban's second and third premierships have been the subject of significant international controversy, and reception of his political views is mixed. The 2011 constitutional changes enacted under his leadership were, in particular, accused of centralizing legislative and executive power, curbing civil liberties, restricting freedom of speech, and weakening the constitutional court and judiciary. For these reasons, critics have described him as irredentist, right-wing populist, authoritarian, autocratic, Putinist, as a strongman, and as a dictator. Other commentators, however, noted that the European migrant crisis, coupled with continued Islamist terrorism in the European Union, have popularized Orban's nationalist, protectionist policies among European conservative leaders. Once ostracized by Europe's political elite, writes Politico, Orban is now the talisman of Europe's mainstream right. As other Visegrad group leaders, Orban opposes any compulsory EU long-term quota on redistribution of migrants, he wrote in the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, Europe's response is madness. We must acknowledge that the European Union's misguided immigration policy is responsible for this situation. He also demanded an official EU list of safe countries to which migrants can be returned. According to Orban, Turkey should be considered a safe third country. Orban has promoted the Great Replacement Conspiracy Theory. Le Journal du Dimanche reported on Orban's explicit adoption of the conspiracy theory, after he claimed, If we let tens of millions of migrants travel to Europe from Africa and the Middle East, the young people of Western Europe will know the day when they will be in a minority in their own country. Topic. Criticisms Orban's critics have included domestic and foreign leaders including former United States Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, and Presidents of the European Commission José Manuel Barroso and Jean-Claude Juncker, intergovernmental organizations, nongovernmental organizations. Specifically, he has been accused of pursuing anti-democratic reforms, reducing the independence of Hungary's press, judiciary and central bank, amending Hungary's constitution to prevent amendments to Fidesz-backed legislation, and of cronyism and nepotism. He was accused of pork-barrel politics by building a 4,000-seat stadium in the village in which he grew up, Felxit, at a distance of some 20 feet from his country house. Some opposition parties and critics also consider Orban an opponent of European integration. In 2000, opposition parties MSZP and SZDSZ and the left-wing press presented Orban's comment that there's life outside the EU as proof of his anti-Europeanism and sympathies with the radical right. In the same press conference, Orban clarified that W are trying to make the accession fast because it may boost the growth of Hungary's economy. Hungarian-American business magnate and political activist George Soros criticized Orban's handling of the European migrant crisis in 2015, saying, His plan treats the protection of national borders as the objective and the refugees as an obstacle. Our plan treats the protection of refugees as the objective and national borders as the obstacle. The Orban government began to attack Soros and his NGOs since early 2017, particularly for his support for more open immigration. In July 2017, the Israeli ambassador in Hungary joined Jewish groups and others in denouncing a billboard campaign backed by the government, in which Soros was vilified as an enemy of the state. 
The campaign was widely seen as anti-Semitic, with critics claiming it "...evokes memories of the Nazi posters during the Second World War." The ambassador stated that the campaign "...evokes sad memories but also sows hatred and fear," an apparent reference to the Holocaust. Hours later, in an apparent attempt to ally Israel with Hungary, Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs issued a "...clarification," denouncing Soros, stating that he "...continuously undermines Israel's democratically elected governments," and funded organizations "...that defame the Jewish state and seek to deny it the right to defend itself." The Israeli government has sought to ally itself with countries within the EU that might defend it from criticism. The clarification came a few days before an official visit to Hungary by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The anti Soros messages became key elements of the government's communication and campaign since then, which, among others, also targeted the Central European University. <laughs> Personal life Orban married jurist Aniko Levi in 1986. The couple has five children, including retired professional footballer Gaspar, who played for Ferenc Puskas Football Academy in 2014. Orban and his wife have two grandchildren. Orban is a member of the Calvinist Hungarian Reformed Church, while his wife and their five children are Roman Catholic. He is very fond of sports, especially of football. He was a signed player of the Felxit football team, and as a result, he also appears in Football Manager 2006. Orban has played football from his early childhood. He was a professional player with Felxit FC. After finishing his football career, he became one of the main financiers of the Hungarian football and his hometown's club Felxit FC, later renamed Puskas Akademia FC. He had a prominent role in the foundation of Ferenc Puskas Football Academy in Felxit, creating one of the most modern training facilities for young Hungarian footballers. He played an important role in establishing the annually organized International Youth Cup, the Puskas Cup, at Pancho Arena, which he also helped build, in his hometown of Felxit. His only son, Gaspar, learned and trained there. Then FIFA president Sepp Blatter visited the facilities at the Puskas Academy in 2009. Blatter, together with the widow of Ferenc Puskas, as well as the founder of the Academy, Victor Orban, announced the creation of the new FIFA Puskas Award during that visit. He played the bit part of a footballer in the Hungarian family film Shizhany DZ Sony S. Arnica Literature Hollows, Janos, Condor, Catalan, Zerda Regel, Radios Besielgetesic Orban Victor Ministerelnakel, 1998, September 2000. December, ISBN 963-933-732-3 Hollows, Janos, Condor, Catalan, Zerda Regel, Radios Besielgetesic Orban Victor Ministerelnakel, 2001-2002, ISBN 963-933-761-7 the Tortenilum Foutkajan, Magai Erzig 1998-2002, Orban Victor Ministerelnok Besside S. Besidreslite, Magyar Egetemi Kiado, ISBN 963-863-831-1 Ev. Besidik, Irasak, Interjik, 1986-2006, Hedi Valash Kiado, ISBN 963-946-122-9 Helikon Konivakiado, Budapest, 2007. Translated into Polish as Ojczyzna Jest Jedna in 2009 Renjes Holomuk. Helikon Konivakiado, Budapest, 2010. Janki, Igor, Hara, Magyarok. As Orban Victor Sz Tori Egy Langyel Ujsajiro Shimevel Rezbong Kiado, 2013, English, Igor Janki, Forward, The Story of Hungarian Prime Minister, Victor Orban, German, Victor Orban, Ein Sturmer in der Politik. References Bibliography <references> 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 Bell, Imogen 2003. Central and Southeastern Europe 2004. Routledge. ISBN 978-1-8574-3186-5. Martins, Wilfred 2009. Europe, I Struggle, I Overcome. Springer. 
ISBN 978-3540892885. Lendvai, Paul. 2017. Orban, Hungary's Strongman. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0190874865-5. Topic. External links. Official website. News from the BBC 2002 Hungarian PM puts football first BBC Orban in 1989